we have added some brand new features to what was already the best way to build custom post grids and post galleries for your WordPress website in the Thrive Content Builder plugin. And in this video, I wanna show you exactly how powerful these new features are. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and I wanna show you what we can do right here. So let's just look at this test page here and just start by going down in our Thrive Content Builder here until we see the post grid element. So we start by dragging that element onto the canvas and this gives us the option, I just click on this to start configuring a post grid. Here we have many options, but before we start, let me just leave everything at default and save this and we'll see an example of what a post grid looks like. So this is the basic idea of, of a post grid. We have, well, as the name implies, we have a grid of posts. Now this doesn't look that great yet. It's kind of a bit oversized and that's why you can do a lot to edit this. So if I just click on this, there are many edits I can do. So visual things I can do, for example, I can change the font size of these headings that makes it look quite a bit better already. I can also change the maximum height of the images. So let's say I want to make this a lot narrower, maybe like this. And now we already have a much tidier looking setup. Now I can always at any time go back into edit grid to make further changes. Let's have a quick run through these options and then I'll show you some things you, that these options allow you to do. So first of all, we can determine which elements are actually shown in the grid. We can determine whether we want to show a summary text, an excerpt or full text, or just remove the text altogether. We can change the order of these elements. So I have, can I have the title before the featured image, for example, that will look like this. And I'll go back into the editor and change that back again. And we can also have a horizontal or a vertical layout. So the vertical layout looks like this. And here for this to look good, I think I have to change this height back again, maybe to 200 or so. There we go. So this is the vertical layout and the default layout is the horizontal one. I'll switch this back to horizontal and I'll show you why in a second. So then we can determine what exactly is shown here and how. So by default, we show posts, but you can also show pages and any other custom post types. So for example, if you have a store, uh, like a WooCommerce store, you can show products. You can determine how many posts are being shown here. Let's increase that a bit. You can skip a certain number of posts in this list before you start. You can order by different criteria, such as the number of comments or the title of the post alphabetically. You can change the sort order and you can show only items that have, you know, that aren't too old basically. And I'll show you a bit more about this feature in a second. Then we have more filter settings here. These are just autofill. So this determines which content is shown. So if I start typing here, it will give me suggestions of all the uh, categories that I've set up here. The same goes for tags and custom taxonomies and authors and even individual posts. So if I start typing here, it will go through all of my posts and I can actually make a grid that consists only of specific posts that I define here. Whenever you select them, you see the post ID. You can also type in the post ID directly. Finally, we have some display settings here. I can set the number of columns and uh, I can choose between a grid and the masonry layout. This only applies to the horizontal layout. So let's go back to this here. So here we have a four column grid layout and the grid layout means that every single post, this box here is always the same height. And if I go back into the editor and I change this to the masonry layout, that means that they have variable heights and we have a masonry style layout. So let me show you two or three examples of how to use this. So you can see you know, how all of these, it's very flexible, it has all these options. So let's have a, a look at you know a couple of things you can actually do with this. So if I go into the editor, Here's something I can do. A very simple thing that you might want to do with this is you go into the edit query and you want to order them by the number of comments. Now, typically this is how a popular posts list is created, right? So I go here and I say save. And so by default, the popular posts in WordPress are determined by the number of comments you received on a post. Now, okay, so this gives me a list of my most popular posts, but then when I look at this, I can see some of these posts are kind of ancient and they're not really relevant anymore. So maybe that's not really the posts I wanna, you know, maybe this isn't the best list of posts I wanna recommend to people. So what I can do is go back into edit query here and I can say, let's have only 
the most popular posts that have been published in the last 365 days. So basically the most popular posts of this year. And that gives me a better list of much fresher and more relevant content. And of course, depending on how, you know, if you have a really fast moving site, if you publish a lot, you might wanna have, you know, the most popular posts of this week or the most popular posts of the last 30 days. Uh, another way to say that is this would be like a trending posts list. Now let's go in here again and let's go into the filter settings this time. And here, a very simple thing I can do is one of my categories is the podcast. So I can say show only posts in the podcast category. So I save that. And now I have a really simple way to display my most popular podcast episodes. Finally, let's look at an example of filter settings again with the author. Um, you can start typing an author name and it will give you the suggested usernames. And this is a great way, you know, if you have an about the author page or something in the filter, you simply set the author name and that gives you a post, a, a list of posts that this author has written. So as you can see, the possibilities are almost endless with the custom post builder. And we've added a lot of new features since the first release, such as new layout options and new filter options and so on. And you can really create almost any kind of post list or post grid with this. And the cool thing is they are very easy to deploy. You can put them together in like a minute and they look beautiful. They're very nicely styled, fully responsive and all that. So this is available right now in the Thrive Content Builder plugin. Let us know what you think by leaving a comment below.